Okay, so um, episode three. Um, today we're going to talk about gear or things. Now I know I'm kind of a things guy, but um, yeah, I think let's why not let's talk about things that make running fun or can make you run just that little bit easier. But before we start, once again remember we're doing this to raise funds for campaign against living miserably. Um, it's a fundraiser um, that I'm doing that th for this campaign to assist or provide resources for people contemplating suicide. Um, so make sure you check out the Just Giving fundraiser below, um, all this, um, so that I can run a 10K under an hour. So I'm gonna talk about a few things, I think nine things that makes running fun or running easier. You know, that little bit of that pushed you over the edge to get you to go out the door to run. Um, so number one, have you ever felt like if you're gonna wake up early for a run, really early, or when you come back from work, you uh, are tired, you run out of energy, or maybe Saturday morning you wake up, you just need that little bit of convincing, a little bit of a extra push. So the first thing we're talking about, um, sweets. Um, so number one, uh, sweets. Um, these um, sweets or banana, um, easy to ingest uh, food that your body tend to absorb quite quickly. You know, sometimes when you're tired, you just need a little bit of a push or when you're hungry, you don't want to eat before you go for a run. Take, I pop one or two before I go for a run when I'm really hungry. These ones are sour as well, just to give that little bit of a refreshingness, uh, in my opinion anyway, um, before I go for a run. So, sweets, number one. Uh, number two um, are gloves. My hands get cold quite easily, um, even though my, when my body don't. And there is a general rule of thumb. Dress maybe 10 degrees warmer for when you go out for a run. But one of the things that I never quite get right is gloves. Um, these are five pounds. But yeah, gloves for those of you who whose extremities get cold really quickly. Number three, kind of what I'm wearing now, running hats. Um, running hats, for me, really help remove distractions for when you're running. You know, you're already insecure about yourself. Well, I don't know about you, but for me, removing distractions can really help with that journey. So maybe you're someone with longer hair. Very neatly tuck your wear away for you. When I had longer hair, you tie your hair in the back and it comes out in the back very neat, very well tucked. I like these slightly stretchier ones or these really well ventilated ones. Um, and when you put it on, it can keep out the sun, um, keep out the rain, you wouldn't feel a thing. But those of you, you know, who also are like myself insecure and you think people are staring at you when you're running, people probably are not, but you think. Having a little lid, it's also quite nice into it in terms of like keeping your tunnel vision going. These ones also got little fitment so that you can put glasses through them. Um, and also sometimes I feel like if I turn my hat the other way around, I feel like I'm running a little bit more aerodynamically. I know it's completely placebo, um, but you know, anything helps, right? My philosophy is if you look good, you feel good, you feel good, you run good. Um, another thing about insecurities, um, here's number four, uh, getting running shorts that fit you. Everyone has different preferences. I know a lot of pro runners like really short uh, shorts to sort of help with movement. Um, I don't, but I've tried on lots of shorts. Um, I played football growing up. But these ones are my favorite, especially, you know, guys um, in the chunky thigh club will kind of understand. I used to get chafing or um, abrasion a lot um, between my thighs. And then I discovered compression shorts and that sort of, this sort of um, solved the problem for me. But compression shorts sh scooch up your belly fat and then it makes your belly a little bit bigger. So again, it's another insecurity. These ones don't do that. These are two in one shorts. So you can see that on the inside, there's a mild compression layer that goes all the way to your thigh and they're really good and um, they give the effect of having compression shots on without scooching your belly up. Um, these ones are my favorite, the Essex 2-in-1, they've got a little pocket for you to put your keys or whatever in. Some of the other ones tend to have stitching and it really scratches up your, your thigh and makes you uncomfortable. Again, you know, running is all about, for, for us fair weather runners anyway, amateur runners, um, it's making your life as comfortable as you can. So two in one shorts. Speaking of compression, I also enjoy wearing, com uh, enjoy wearing compression tops. Um, I've got different kinds here. Th these ones I've had since 10 years ago, probably even longer. And these ones are ones I've got from the Nike outlet in Norwich. Um, these are short sleeve, these are long sleeve. I've even got tank tops on. They're really good because it keeps your body in place. Um, if you've like me, you've got lots of got lots of moving parts on your body. This sort of keeps everything intact. Again, it makes you feel more solid when you run. Anything helps, I think. Makes you feel more comfortable, makes you feel more secure about yourself, makes you feel more at ease. Helps. Highly recommend compression tops. We're on to number six. Number six is sports sunglasses. Um, I've got some here. 
Um, I've got some Oakleys here when I used to do a lot of kayaking. Um, I've got these ones from Van Rysel, which is from Decathlon. Cycling sunglasses, uh, visors even. Um, these are 33 pounds or something like that. You don't have to get expensive one, just make sure you get stuff that actually UV protected. They, again, if it's sunny, mix whatever you're looking at visible, but also again, it just feels like it's when I wear them, everything else is out of view, just myself. Look good, feel good, run good. With my hat, like this, so it stays in place when you don't need them. Number seven is something quite important. You can't really do running without them. I don't recommend anyway, but the correct running shoes. What do I mean by correct running shoes? Um, I've got a few pairs here. I think the right pairs of running shoes can make or break a run. Um, for m most of you, if you've never bought running shoes before, I recommend going to a professional running shop, local running shop, runners there, and who can measure your gait or measure your movement to recommend the right pair for you. Uh, it helps prevent injuries and also makes your slow runs easier, your long runs easier, your fast runs easier. These ones are my favorite long run shoes. Um, they are very generous with the cushioning, but also every step feels softer, um, making those slower long runs, um, distant runs a lot easier, Essex Nimbus 25. But also, um, these ones are uh, my Nike Pegasus 39. They don't feel as good when I'm doing my slow runs, but the, the cushioning really, I personally, I feel like changes when I'm doing my interval runs where I'm doing faster speeds. Um, the front suddenly becomes a little bit more responsive when I'm running five and a half minutes per K. Know your running shoes, um, most of the time you only need one pair. I'm the sort of guy that has all the gear, no idea. Yeah, the right pair of running shoes really helps make your run enjoyable. I suggest you go to a local running shop, at least get your stride, your gait, your feet measured so that they can recommend the right pair for you. But yeah, get the right pair. And the next two are a little bit more unnecessary, but I still enjoy them. Running jackets, the right running jacket. Again, I'm not saying you need to buy the most expensive ones, but get the right one. Because I bought these um, really cheap ones from Sports Direct. Um, Karimo ones. I wear large size in most of my running stuff, but these are uncomfortable even in XL. My chest is too small, but the sleeve's too long. If it fits you, great. Then these are these might just serve you well, but I don't like them. So I was researching them. Running jacket can, can go to really expensive prices. I've seen 250 quid ones. This is an Adidas one, um, sort of their mid-range. It's meant to cost 120 pounds, but I bought them for 33 pounds. This fit really well. I can wear my proper size in large. They are very breathable um, and can do deal with a little bit of rain. Um, but the good thing is, when I start sweating my arms inside it doesn't get sticky and so I can continue running in comfort yeah try them on try them on for size if you can recommend getting a raining jacket especially if it's gonna be you know if you're in England last thing number nine um, a sports watch um, a sports watch can help you collect data but you don't really need a watch if you're happy to um, you can wear um, a sling bag or a sort of arm strap with your phone on it collecting that data has really helped me understand my runs, understand where's the gain, where's the bits that I can rest, where to improve. Download apps on your phone or, or your sports watch that could give you training plans for little to no cost. So yeah, if you can get a watch that you, that works well with a health or sports app like Strava, I think they're a good tool to have. But these are my nine things that's really helped me make my runs enjoyable. I hope you find something that makes your run enjoyable. Thank you. Um, and don't forget to um, donate to my fundraiser for uh, campaigns against living miserably. Thank you. Bye.